Last year was a pretty decent year, where I made a whole bunch of new memories and visited some pretty cool new places. What is this? It's junk. Hence the word, some. But yeah, the year as a whole was honestly pretty fun, and despite all that was going on in the world, the adventures certainly helped me to get through it. And to top it all off, the year ended on a high. But now it's 2022, and I want those kind of adventures to continue, so today, I began the first one. Hi, happy new year. I was having a good new year, but I think that might change today. Let me explain why. So recently I've been watching this guy on YouTube called GeoWizard, who has a whole bunch of videos in which he crosses countries in a perfectly straight line, which to be honest is just insane. Anyway, today I wanted to make the most out of the sunshine, so I decided that I'd go on a walk, but instead of a normal walk, I'd spend the day walking in a perfectly straight line. So, I woke up early and headed to a random but kinda cool spot, an abandoned road in the countryside. So, I was gonna start by going that way, but the cliff would be physically impossible. That way also looks kinda deadly and, to be honest, I'd rather have a relaxed start. So, I decided to follow the old road and head northeast into the mountains and the moors of the national park. I expected this to be more possible than a cliff face to a town centre, but it still wasn't going to be easy. So by following a compass and marking my stop points on a map, I began the hike and soon realised, largely thanks to my inability to climb fences, that this would be no easy feat. Okay, this is way more difficult than I imagined. I am literally walking next to a footpath. Why? all the people judging me. They just think I am so weird right now. What am I doing? What am I actually doing? <laughs> like what am I actually doing? Why am I doing this? I just noticed, yeah. Wherever I get to, I'm gonna get there at five o'clock, having walked for about eight hours, and then I've got to walk back. And considering this is a straight line, it means there's no quick way to get back, which means if I don't take breaks, I'm gonna have an eight hour walk back. I'm gonna take a few breaks on this walk. These things might look innocent, but honestly, they are so painful. Apple. That path looks so good right now. So that's the direction that I'm heading now. I can already see what looks like a river down there, and maybe even a cliff edge further up. Why am I doing this? With a lot of obstacles on the way, I marched forward, hoping that I'd manage to avoid the worst of them and not get caught by any local farmers. I'm avoiding the house. Bad news. I have to go over that. And that is definitely some kind of like bog kind of thing. I've got a feeling this day is only going to get harder. Of course I was happy to be avoiding the house, but with all the water getting into my shoes, it made things a lot more difficult, especially since the temperature was so cold. Although, I did find one thing that lifted the vibes. A footpath. For the first time in like an hour, I'm actually on a footpath. Look how close I was to that person's garden. Even though I was avoiding their garden, I wasn't going to be avoiding their farmland, as I began to cut over more walls, aware that the sun was slowly going down. For I faced bigger issues than just the sun, as a car was parked in the way of my path, with a woman stood nearby, and a farmer working in the field next door. So I had to stay low and wait it out before moving on. So once the car left, so did I, as I made my way down the hill and hit the next oh obstacle. Boy. Sadly, I had no choice but to go into it, all whilst hypothermia was genuinely becoming one of my main concerns, and I began to forget about the whole trespassing thing. Well, that was of course until I saw obstacle number 82. So, I'm meant to be going that way, but on top of that hill there is a railway track, but there is legit just a tunnel there, which would take me like 15 metres off course. I think that 15 metre detour is worth it, because the track is dangerous, and of course like super illegal. Nevertheless, I couldn't avoid every single obstacle, as I headed up the farm road in an attempt to get back on course, before it appeared that I'd been busted. So, it was time to pull out the innocent lost walker excuse. You're right. Is there any footpath up here at all? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, cheers. Where till I go up or you'll have to be in your way. <laughs> and luckily, everything seemed to go well. When I saw him driving towards me then, I thought it was game over. 
and it seemed like good luck was finally on my side. Back on track. Imagine if the old guy couldn't be trespassing now. Although to be honest, I think I have bigger issues. More of that stuff, and it is so thick. Ah, honestly, that hurts so much. These ghost push things honestly hurt so much. Like, I'm not even joking. They even started ripping holes in my coat as they became today's number one enemy. Thorns all over me. I hate those bushes so much. But I got my revenge. I started on the other side of that. I'd say it's been quite successful. Sadly, despite being optimistic, whilst I was sat down on my next break talking nonsense to the camera, I realised that the last hour had actually been a total failure. See, even though the walk had started well, I'd been pushed totally off course at the railway bridge and gone totally off track. So I walked in a straight line down there to the ditch, but it turns out I've turned off course at a bit of an angle. Nevertheless, with the sun going down and the acknowledgement of my failure setting in, I had to keep walking, since going back would have just made no sense at all. So I kept heading upwards, walking into what felt like a totally deserted landscape, with nothing but snow, hard cold winds and impending darkness. Can't lie, that's a nice view, but look at the view ahead of me. It was about 3 o'clock by now, meaning I had about an hour left until total darkness. I want to make it up there before sunset, but I'm low on time and I feel dead. But despite being so exhausted, I knew that being stuck here in the dark would just be dangerous. So I headed up as fast as I possibly could. But could I get there before the sun went down? Yes, I sure could. And it's totally worth the effort. Even though I did try to keep walking onwards, with the dark, ice, cold and exhaustion all beating me, I decided to give up almost an hour before I planned to, since I still had to get back and that involved yet another steep climb, but this time, it will be in the dark. So I've hurt my leg like so badly and I honestly don't know if I can make it up this hill but there's legit no other way. I could try hitchhiking maybe, I could look for a bus. I don't have any money on me so I might as well just go for it. But that's going to be like a good two hour hike until I get back to the car. So yeah, I think it's my only option. Well this doesn't feel sketchy at all. Remember at the start of the day when I said, why am I doing this? Well, we're back at that point again. Why am I doing this? Imagine that's a serial killer waiting for me at the top. My imagination went wild in the dark, and I was seeing things that weren't even there. What is that? But soon enough, I saw something that was actually there, which gave me a whole bunch of hope. A busy road, which I knew, would lead me to where I'd parked. That is how close I am to the peak. At this point, I just want to go home, for obvious reasons. Anyway, yeah, I walked onwards, but nothing too interesting happened, to be honest. Although, after about 30 minutes of walking along the road, I did eventually find the car. And to my excitement, no the day had finally no ended. We've done it. Ooh, what a, what day. a day. But honestly, it wasn't as bad as I made out. Yeah, I was so tired I felt like I'd died twice, and yeah, the line I followed had totally failed. But the 10 hour long walk had shown me some pretty cool new things, and by the end, it honestly did feel like a big achievement. Plus, it had clearly gone a lot better than my last attempt. So we made it to 48 minutes. So yeah, I'd say it was a pretty successful adventure. 